Hey guys, finishing up the series of the Dutch pour. Taught you how to mix the paint, showed you how to do them, and today is going to be the last one. I have just enough paint to do this one, and then we'll be done with this for a while. We'll do a pop-up video of this once in a while, but not on a regular basis. So I'm going to go ahead and push that over, move it around, just slap it on there, get it on there. Get my sides all covered so that we are going to dry nice and shiny. Make sure you check out the video for how to mix this Dutch pour paint. Um, I'll try to put the link to that video below this one. I've been on a roll today just doing one after another, so let's see if I can remember to do that. <laughs> I, will, I should just add it to... Uh, the page right okay so get a fresh paper towel because mine are all getting sticky so since this is rectangular let me pop these bubbles real quick I'm gonna need to fill my torch so I'll be right back okay so that's all filled <laughs> I think I want to try to push it this way or out so I'm going to be using um, the green blue because I absolutely love that with the cerulean blue and the green and the gold Oops, I had two cups there okay so I want a lot of color because I want to go this way um, let's do the blue next. And some green. And then the gold. There's a lot of paint there. It gives me lots of room to push. We'll come behind. And in front of. Okay, push it back this way. I'm going to go ahead and start my hair dryer. This is the one that I use. It's in my Amazon shop. There's no handle, so you have a little more control when you're grabbing it. And it does have a cool setting, which is great. Um, also, everything that I'm using is from Jerry's Artorama, as far as the paint and the medium. So check out Jerry's, and that uh, link will be below as well. my blue green didn't I it's harder to do it on a rectangle but it did take over a lot of the canvas so now I'm going to go in with my airbrush you can use a straw and I'm going to move some things around that I don't like and I'm going to take those splatter marks right off You don't want to go in again with your hair dryer because then you're going to push that white into your edges and it's going to lose its um, definition. So right now I'm just pushing that color out. And I have that dark blue green here. I want to see if I can bring it in a little bit and then just move it. See how I said it pulls that way? So now I've got to push that back. Okay. I could have done without the cerulean blue and just did the um, blue green and the gold, but I'm not. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. <laughs> so check out all the links below. Um, the mix for this Dutch pour paint will be below. It's a separate video on its own. Um, I go and show you how to do the colors and the paint. Let me just get a touch of white for there.
but that's the end of our Dutch pours with the paint that I mixed up so you'll see these occasionally just you just happen to get a lot of these in a row <laughs> so that's it for that one guys I'm gonna do it like this or you can do it like this the falling flowers kind of looks pretty that way too all right guys Join our Paraj Posse on Facebook. Check out my art page on Facebook as well. Christina Welch Art. Join us every Monday night live at 9 p.m. right here on the channel. Join us for our auctions every Sunday, um, every first Sunday of the month right here on this channel at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, USA. Yep. Uh, check out our Etsy shop for paintings. Um, I've got a lot that I need to get in there. Um, I've been filtering them out slowly and adding jewelry here and there, but we are going to be working on that as soon as we get back from our beach vacation. And you'll be seeing this probably while I'm at the beach. <laughs> but we'll be doing um, paintings at the beach as well, so we'll be uploading those too in between. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.